Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Diecast Review. Today we're going to take a look at Bubba Wheelhouse, Ryan Inside, Lainey, Chase Racelot, and Danny Suarez, the NASCAR cameoed Next Gen Ra Piston Cup Racers from Cars 3. Now before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, Bubba Wheelhouse, Ryan Inside, Lainey, Chase Racelot, and Danny Suarez are Next Gen Piston Cup Racers that are named after and were voiced by real-life NASCAR drivers Bubba Wallace, Ryan Inside Laney, Chase, Race, Chase Elliott, and Danny Suarez. <clears throat> During their appearance in Cars 3 in 2016, they were four of the many next-gen racers to displace many veteran stock car racers, including Marcus Krenksler, who I unfortunately don't have, Speedy Comet, Brick Yardley, and Bobby Swift. And each of the four had two speaking lines in the movie. The first one, Danny Suarez, stated that his name is Danny towards Lightning McQueen when he when he was nervous while witnessing Brick Yardley's termination from his sponsor and was keen to ask Bobby to find out what was going on only to find that that he too was replaced by Danny And in 2017, before the Florida 500 at the Florida International Speedway, three out of the four, Bubba, Ryan, and Chase, were interviewed by the RSN Network about Lightning McQueen's comeback while he was training in Thomasville. Right, although Ryan stated that his grandfather told him did he pull it off when he was a rookie, Bubba stated that it, it would be best for Lightning not to come back, and Chase stated that he wasn't going to lose sleep over Lightning. So anyhow, all five racers participated in the Florida, in the official Florida 500, although Lightning impartially participated it until the wreckage, when which he adverted, did, did, he had Cruz Ramirez finish the race for him, and after the victory, he, all four of them congratulated Cruz for beating Jackson Storm, and they all and they all they were very impressed by her performance, which was her 360 degree flip, by saying, "Hey Cruz, you were flying. You had a rolling today. That was cool. Hey Cruz, your blinkers on." And during their diecast releases, all four of them were released as singles in 2017 when the Cars 3 diecast line kicked off. And they also made appearances in the NASCAR crossover series when they changed numbers, Bubba Wheelhouse to from 6 to 23, Ryan Inside Laney, 21 to 12, Chase Racelot, 24 to 9, and Danny Suarez, 19 to 99. Hmm. To, in order to match their voice actors' current racing numbers. Although, 
I'm not appealed to the NASCAR crossover series. It's not my cup of tea. However, the only, the only diecast in the NASCAR crossover series I'm anticipating to be released in the NASCAR crossover series is Dale Earnhardt number three. Do you anticipate for Dale Earnhardt to be released in the NASCAR crossover series? Let me know what you think. So anyhow, without any further ado, let's dig right in. Let's start with Bubba Wheelhouse, who I recorded previously in the last video. Here we got his grumpy facial expression, his grill and headlights and the the letters TJ on the hood, which are the initials of Transbury Juice. And, and on both sides, we've got the number six in the gold yellow background and the yellow bubbles and the black rims on the black wall next gen light year racing tires and the exhaust pipes and the purple number six and the yellow arrow at the bottom indicating a pity to lift them up and the few contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. And on the top, we've got the number six and the Transbury Juice on both sides and the gas cap and the Transbury Juice on the spoiler, and the taillights in the TJ on one side, number six on another, and the rookie stripes indicating that he's a rookie. Now for Ryan inside Laney, you've got his grumpy determined facial expression, his headlights and grill, and the next gen blinker logo and the number 21 on the top and the blinker logo on the spoiler. And on both sides we've got the blue rims on the black wall next gen light year racing tires and the exhaust pipes and the arrow at the bottom indicating a pity to lift them up and a number 21. A few contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. The blinker logo and the gas cap and the tail lights and the number 21. The blinker logo and the rookie stripes. Next, we got Chase Race Slot. Got his headlights and grill and grumpy facial expression. Next Gen Vitaling logo and the number 24, no name signature. Vitaling logo on the spoiler. Now, both sides, we've got the grim green rims on the black wall light, Next Gen Lightyear Racing tires and the exhaust pipes and the number 24 and the arrow at the bottom gas cap and a letter V and several continu few contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. The tail lights and the number 24 and the Vitaline logo and the Rookie Stripes. And last but definitely not least, Danny Suarez. Here we've got his tail lights and his angry determined facial expression, his grill, and the Letters OG, which are the initials for Octane Gain and the Next Gen Octane Gain logo and the number 19, no name signature, and the black rims surround on the Next Gen light, Black Wall Lightyear Racing tires surrounded by gold borderline circles and the exhaust pipes and the arrow indicating a pity to lift them up and the Octane Gain logo and the gas cap and the number 19 and the Few contingency sponsors saying Piston Cup, Combustor, Carbon Cyber, and Synergy. The Octane Gain logo on the spoiler. Tail lights at the back. Number 19, the Octane Gain in the logo in the middle. And the rookie stripes indicating a, that he is a rookie. And that is it. Here we have all four NASCAR cameoed. Next Gen Piston Cup Racers, Bubba Wheelhouse, Ryan Inside Laney, Chase Racelot, and Danny Suarez. Finally, after a few years of searching and gathering. So I'm going to pull up the other Piston Cup Racers that share their sponsors, only three out of, out of four, which are... Bobby Swift, who shares the same number and sponsor as Danny Suarez. Brick Yardley, who shares the same number and sponsor as Chase Racelot. And Speedy Comet, who shares the same number and sponsor as Ryan Inside Laney. But as for Bubba Wheelhouse, well, he
He shares the same number and sponsor as Marcus Krinksler, who I unfortunately don't have, so hopefully I'll get Marcus Krinksler if I can. So what do you guys think? Which of the four NASCAR Cameo Next Gen Racers is your favorite? And which sponsor is your favorite and which of the four piston cup four piston cup teams are your favorite? Transbury Juice, Blinker, Violin, or Octane Gang? Let me know what you think, as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!